Hey, welcome. All right, let's try this again. Now we outside, we got better connection. So I wanted to show you guys these tropical fruits. And this is stuff that's growing here in this environment. And it's just real good stuff. It's some stuff you might not have heard of, or you might have seen a similar variety, but it's not, you know, the same as, as what you're probably receiving if you're like in the States or somewhere like that, right? So, um, yeah, I was talking about, I wanted to go through the fruit and this one is a very cool fruit. I really like this fruit because it's, um, this fruit actually grows on, it's called the, the Swiss cheese plant. That's what they call it because the leaves are like cut like Swiss cheese. They got holes like Swiss cheese, but it's actually an invasive species somewhat in here in Hawaii. And so, but it produces fruit. And a lot of people don't know that it produces fruit um, because it don't really look like a fruit. It grows a couple of these, you know, from the stalk from the center and it don't really look the fruit uh, like a fruit, you know, but if you take it and you tear it off and you let it ripen, it actually produces a amazing, amazing aroma and it's just, just delicious. Um, I could describe the aroma like between soursop and like a pineapple slash banana. It's like a really fruity, like almost candy-like uh, smell to it. But the thing about this one is you gotta be careful because you gotta eat this when it's ripe because if you eat it when it's not ripe, it could actually cause irritation th to the throat as a uh, calcium oxalate, which uh, is broken down if you allow it to ripen. So you have to wait till actually the stems, like these things right here, they just start falling off and, and that it just easily falls off. And that's how you know that you could eat the part under that that's ready to be eaten when the these little petals is like hexagons start falling off. You know that underneath is ready to be eaten and enjoyed. Okay, so then I wanna talk about, leave this right here. The, um, this mango, you know, this is, this is actually a Thai mango. It's a different variety of mango. And I haven't actually tried it yet, but the lady at the farmer's market said it was really good and she kind of sold me on it. So, you know, I'm excited to try this mango right here as well. And this one, actually, I first tried this when I came to Hawaii and I had seen people eat this fruit a lot, but I never had tasted it for myself. This is, so, um, you know, in the fruit world, there's a king and a queen of fruit. And the king of fruit, what some people call the king of fruit is durian. And the queen is actually this, and it's called mangosteen. And I'll, I'm gonna actually cut this one open for you guys so you guys can see what it tastes like because I'm trying to eat this right now. But this is, you know, supposed to be like the top, one of the top tier fruits that you could eat. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside if you haven't seen it. And I don't have a lot of experience with this, so. If I'm not doing it perfect, please forgive me. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. I mean, the sun's not out, but still, the weather's nice. So, I just cut it in half and then kind of... Oop, it's dripping. Okay. So, that's what it looks like inside. It's got this uh, white pulp in it, or flesh in it. So I'm just gonna take one of these little bulbs. It almost looks like a um, uh, like a garlic, garlic cloves, you know. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, there's actually not a seed in every one of them. So some of them you'll get that just it's just pure meat. Hey, Paradise 99J, uh, what, what they call king, the king of the fruits is the durian, durian. And I don't know, if, I think they grow here, but it's really um, hard to find because I guess it's, it's hard to grow here, but. Mm. 
It's really tasty. It just has a very unique taste to it. It's almost like, I would say it's almost like a lychee type of texture to it, but it's just a little more, more candy-like. Mm. Yeah, that's what's left. Coveted mango steam, queen of the fruit. All right, so that was good. Then we have this little boy right here. It's called Soursop. This one you probably heard of it. You probably seen it. But this this is also one of my favorite fruits. It's very good fruit. It tastes like it's a sweet, but it has like a tangy nest to it. So it's really good and has these big seeds inside. So you could swallow, or you could spit them out, or you could you know do whatever you want. But this is one of my top fruits as well. Um. Nah, just just the part inside is edible on the mango steam. Um, the other part, it feels soft, but I, as far as I know, it's not edible. But it's really, it really looks really cool. It reminds me of that fruit from um, Avatar when he bites into it. Except you can't bite into this, but it's like the color of it. So, yeah, that's a really delicious fruit. And then... You have papayas here. Um, you got to be careful with papayas because out here they uh, have genetically modified them. And it's just like, it's a it's a big controversy because they say here in Hawaii, what saved the papaya industry was actually with the GMO. They actually spliced the gene in there to be resistant to a certain uh, mold that they were getting here, a, a, a disease that it was getting, which spots the papayas. Um, so some of them do come from that lineage of, of genetic modified papayas, but you gotta be careful. So you, you know, the farmer markets, they usually have non-GMO sign on there and they'll let you know. And if you talk to them, you can, you know, uh, weigh out their integrity and see if they're just honest or just trying to sell you some papayas. So, but we actually grow, have some papaya trees here and we harvest some papayas from the, the, the plants here as well. And this actually is an orange, just fell off the tree behind me, and I just picked it up. You know, it smells really good. It's really orange, and it's usually in the tropics, it's very interesting because in the tropics, usually the oranges aren't orange on the outside. They're actually green on the outside. When you cut it up, it is orange on the inside, but that's due to um, chlorophyll. Um, in the tropics, it, it gets it receives a lot of sunlight, right? But the or that, that the orange is actually underneath the green so the, the chlorophyll will you know if, if you remove the chlorophyll you have an orange the color of the orange will actually permeate but in the tropical environments a lot of times i've seen where the oranges are actually green on the outside it's still orange on the inside and we have limes that are actually orange on the inside and are actually like yellow on the outside I really like those lines. I should have brought some of those because I, I really like those lines. I forgot what they're called, but there's a certain variety of lime that is really good. And of course, all this fruit has seeds, avocados. This is from the Kona side, I believe, uh, but they have some really good avocados. I don't know if this is called a Charwell, but it's a really um, buttery avocado. So, uh, you know, this is good to enjoy with all kinds of stuff. Uh, you could make burritos, wraps, eat it with beans and rice, or just throw it in a salad. Either way, it's gonna be amazing. Um, I don't know, to be honest, I haven't had the orange yet. I just actually harvested, so I haven't, because it's not orange season right now, so the, there's not, this is kind of like a, a residual from the last season that kind of just fell off the tree. So I don't think it's gonna be too telling of what kind of fruit that tree produces, but I would like to, when the season comes, to taste uh, fresh fruit. You know, and then we have bananas, of course. Everyone around here is growing bananas. You got the banana plants everywhere. And, you know, there's always bananas around. And they kind of grow year-round. And this, I really like this. This um, It's not a fruit. Hey, peace, everybody. It's not a fruit, but it's just really good. 
herb. It's a root. It's a rhizome actually, and it and it comes from the bottom. It's un underneath, buried under the soil of the plant. You actually harvest what is called a rhizome, and and you could eat this in salads. You could put it on your rice. You could put it in your soups. But this is a great, great herb. It's called turmeric, and it has a lot of beneficial properties. I know it's anti-inflammatory. It has a compound in here called curcumin, which is actually shown to um, promote neurogenesis, which is the creation of, of new brain cells. And and it's been used in, in, in studies for like Alzheimer's and just neurodegenerative disease, diseases. This has been used and in India. This uh, turmeric is actually really, really common. And it's one of the ingredients that's in curry. So if you have curry powder, uh, turmeric is like the main ingredient in there. So it's a really, really good herb that I like to use uh, whenever possible. So yeah, man. And I actually want to try this mango. So I'm going to see what this looks like inside. This is a, a Thai mango. I don't know what variety, but it's a different shape. You know, usually it's more, they're more round and fat. But this one is like long, so I'm interested to see what the seed look like on the inside. So this is how I be cutting my mangoes. I cut around the seed. Okay. Mm, that smells so good. Hey, babe. You want to try this mango? You want to try this mango? I'll save you some. See, this is how I cut it. And then I just pop it. Boom. You see? And then you kind of have access to the meat more, more so. So that's my little fancy way of cutting it. So let me see what this tastes like. Oh, this looks really good. The texture is like really clean. It's like almost like gelatin or something. Yeah, nature's nature's dope. Like that's why I fell in love with nature and, and natural food and 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 all of that because like seeing stuff like this and, and just like, especially when we come from like so processed food, eating processed food and not even thinking or knowing where food comes from. It's like this is special to be able to hold this food in my hand in Hawaii right now because I dreamt of this. You know, I dreamt of being here eating fruit. I dreamt of being here, being in tune with nature and. And just being in a natural environment with some clean air and, you know, just clean water and, and all of that, you know. And so I'm really, really thankful. And I just like want to take the moment to say I'm thankful and I'm grateful for even being here and for everything conspiring in my favor to be here and enjoy this moment right now. I'm thankful. And so I'm about to try you this. You put the mango over? Yeah. This is a fruit taste test. Is it mm. good? Yeah, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you ate the mango thing? Mm-hmm. Was it good? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Here. That's more of a mango-y flavor. Well, it's a mango. Yeah, but like in the other mangoes that I've had. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, I like this mango. Yeah, we're gonna get some more of that. Can you cut me the other half thing? Mm -hmm. Cause I know you, you, you eat the whole mango cause you love mangoes. <laughs> I can't wait to that sour salt. I know. When we came here, we kind of like got away from the sour salt for a minute. Like I, I don't know. I feel like we had enough of it. Good. You know what it was for me? Yeah. One time we got a big ass yeah, it was, sour sauce. It was sop. too big. It was a huge sour sauce. And I just, because I've been thinking yeah. since Costa Rica, like, I just want to eat a lot of this food until I'm yeah. completely full. Yeah. But then when I did it, it was like. It was too much. It was too much. It was like overindulgent. It was like the, the sour sauce was the size of a seedless watermelon. It was huge. And it was just like, it, we was over it. Yeah, so it's like I when after I ate that, it, it just it wasn't appealing anymore. But yeah. then recently, when we were at the market, I seen it again, and it was like it finally came back. Mm. 
Mango. You want to take something? Mm, I'll, yeah, this is. Mm -hmm. This is just turning into a mukbang. Mm -hmm. You want to take some? It's like, uh, no, I'm gonna daddy devour that mango. You want to take some? This is like, uh. You want to take some? You like it? It's good. He's sucking on it. <laughs> 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 you don't, you don't be interested in food yet. I know. Mmm, it's so good. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. It's like, it has like a very distinct flavor of it. Mmm. -hmm. Cause you know mangoes be sweet, but like there's like a, a uh, another note to it that's like mango flavor mm -hmm. besides the sweetness. It's like, mm, it's juicy, and it's just light and it's sweet. Mmm. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Um. We only got one of these mangoes. Why? Man, Why? Because we crazy. No, because it was. <laughs> two, it was five bucks. Oh, really? Mm hmm. This is a five dollar mango, y'all. We eating. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Although I think she ripped us off. I think she thought we were tourists. Really? She raised the price because this five dollars for mango is crazy. Yeah, well, we're crazy enough to buy it. So, <laughs> well, it was it's really. I, I good. think because she sold us on it, she was like, "Oh, this is special mango." Like she had like three or four of them yeah. in front of her. She had she had all these other kind of mangoes, but then she had like these four or five of these varieties. Yeah, and she was like, "Oh, this you want like a mango? Like this is the best yeah, mango right yeah. here." But she wasn't lying, so it's really good. That's very tasty. That just made my day. <laughs> That's why I love fruit because it just makes you happy. Like when you just get a nice piece of fruit, it's just like, uh, ah, yeah. it just makes you so happy. Especially mangoes. Like that's a mango right there that make you realize how much you love mangoes. <laughs> I think I think because like, you ain't gotta do nothing to you ain't gotta process it. Mm -hmm. You just eat, eat yeah, it. Yeah, you, you know? don't have to worry about spitting the seeds out. I mean, you eat, you can suck on the seed and then you just throw it out or whatever. But it's just a it's just a really good fruit. It's just really delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up what you left behind. Yeah, it's like nature's candy. And did you already talk about this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one right you here. Don't... It it scares us a little bit because we don't <laughs> really know how to eat it, but it tastes like. Candy. It I, what candy just tastes. It just tastes like pure candy to me. It's just really good. So hopefully yeah, we're the, eating it right. And the thing like about tropical fruit is that you can't really. Like, I don't think if I I ship this to you guys, yeah. like I don't think it would be the same. Yeah. Because I would probably have to ship it before it's ripe, and then in the process it will get irradiated, mm -hmm. and they would do a bunch of shit to it, mm -hmm. and it just wouldn't be the same by the time you receive this. So. That's why I made a post. I was like, you got to eat what's in your local environment. Yeah. And if you want to be a fruitarian or you want to eat a lot of fruit, it don't make sense to live in New York City. Yeah. Like, if you want to eat this kind of fruit, you got to live in an environment where this food grows. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, like, like every, you should move here, but if you want to eat fruit, like, it would make sense. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Like, but my thing is, like, if you're wherever you are is to eat food from that environment so i know even in the northeast uh, united states a lot of berries blueberries mm -hmm. um blackberries all that stuff grows so yeah definitely you want to eat that apples when they come in the season um peaches tangerines mm -hmm. all that stuff still grows over there but i think eating from your local environment is like the best thing that you could do and it's yeah. universal because it's like it connects you to your environment yeah. like now you're gonna know what's coming in season and like you just feel more aware of your environment because you know mm -hmm. when the avocados are coming and as opposed to just being going to the grocery store and they're always there but how how and why and what does it take to always have the fruit year round is what you don't ask yourself mm -hmm. like there's there's a consequence to that there's a lot of uh resources that are depleted to for you to afford that to be able to have all the fruit year round that's that's weird in nature nothing in nature grows year round yeah. everything has a season that's true. yeah that's cause like right now our bananas are growing on this property and the avocados are starting to come in but we think we're supposed to be eating bananas and avocados and mangoes all year long and maybe your body isn't supposed to be 
eating that much sugar or that certain food at that time because you know the fruits and they grow in seasons so maybe within that season and time is what your body might need mm -hmm. but we're thinking we're supposed to eat it anytime we want to um but i know even if you live in a tropical environment it's good to live in a tropical environment because then you'll be able to grow your own food on the, on your own property oh, yeah. and then you don't have to worry about going to the grocery store and, and that's why i love the app that we're going to release because it's going to encourage people to grow their own food and it's mm -hmm. like it's going to it's going to be a platform where people could exchange food yeah and so if you got some extra mangoes some extra avocados you could just share it with your neighbor you know you could tell them you know um they could search if there's anybody in your vicinity searching for a certain fruit and you have it like like you know that's an easy way to exchange it and because just the other day we were like yeah. we wanted some avocados and we didn't have any and, and yeah. we're like i bet you someone around here has, has some, some avocados, avocados. <laughs> but you know if we had the app and everybody was on the app then i could just look it up and be like sure the neighbor three doors down got some avocados yeah. you know and just go get them from him you know mm -hmm. so that's why I'm really excited about that. And it's also promoting people to grow their own food and yeah. to be in tune with that. Because I feel like once you get in tune with the earth, that's just pointing you to the source. It's pointing you to the natural route. And, and that's the remedy. You know, that, that's how you heal yourself. But it, it's all part of that process. And so when people know where the food's coming from, mm -hmm. it just balances them out more, I feel, as human beings. Like, it's easy to be unbalanced when you don't got to think about where food comes from or how to mm -hmm. eat. And, and just ro living like a robotic existence rather than being a part of that yeah. process. So, yeah, man, this is... Uh, I just like smelling this I fruit. Know I, I'm, like, wary about eating it still. You know, but... <laughs> Because cause, um, I, I was paranoid yesterday. I ate a little <laughs> bit of it. And I was like, is my throat <laughs> feeling a certain way? Just because I had read stuff about it, yeah. you know. So, but I think it'll be fine. You would never see that fruit in the grocery store at all. Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. So, uh, even even um, a lot of these fruits, like, uh, they're hard to transport. So, it's like, by the time they get to the grocery store, they're not going to be good anymore. Yeah. Uh, there was one fruit. I think, like, egg fruit, you probably won't see in the grocery store. Because I won't. There was, there was a fruit that I was just like, that goes real quickly, mm -hmm. like within the day or something mm -hmm. that you harvest it. So it's like, yeah, but it's very interesting. And that's, we just want to share that with you guys today because I was just looking at our table and we had all this fruit and I'm like, this, this is dope. This is amazing because at one point it's what I dreamt about being yeah. in, in a tropical environment and having tropical food and and just living a natural life, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was always something that I wanted to do. And now that I'm doing it, like, I got to remember that this is what I've wanted for a long time and to enjoy it and embrace it and, and share it with people. Because yeah. I know people out there appreciate seeing this because it inspires them to want to go out and pursue whatever it is for themselves. I don't care if you don't want to be eat fruit, whatever you want to do, but just yeah. to go and chase that that goal that you have in mind and to get in tune with a more natural a piece of yourself you know yeah. so yeah man, that's that's the message for today i hope you guys have a beautiful day and um if you haven't followed harvester market follow that because i'm we're about to drop the app soon um and you know follow serenity if you need some astrology guidance and just you know just guidance in general she's really good with that um just uh just giving advice you know mm -hmm. people sometimes we just skip the astrology and like people just come straight to her for just straight up advice you know she's really good with that as well because i think you know she's has um you know went through enough in life to where she and she's just naturally good at, at giving advice you know helping people out with that mm -hmm. so they gravitate towards her for that so if, you know if you need something like that you can hit her up designs i'm still doing designs if you need logos or anything branding marketing websites you know i got that or i can help you with that in whatever way i can but yeah, just and follow Zen if you want to see some cuteness. And if you want to see cute pictures <laughs> of this child here, follow Holy Dot Zen. And as always, stay balanced and eat local fruit. Eat more fruit. <laughs> All right. Till next time. <laughs>